Part 1 It's time to advance to the skeletal structure of the human body. In this lesson, you'll learn the main bones that influence appearance of the human figure. You'll also explore bodily proportions in the contrapposto position. We begin drawing a figure in contrapposto with a preliminary sketch. The figure's height is marked by this vertical line. The axis of the pelvis is tilted, and therefore, the spine is curved. We will indicate the head with an oval. It will be slightly tilted to the left, to the side of the engaged leg. The axis of the engaged leg, which supports the body's weight, runs at an angle to the point on the ground directly below the body's center of gravity. This center of gravity is located on a vertical line just above the pelvic axis. So the distance between the top edge of the breastbone and the pubic bone is equal to the distance between the iliac crest and the top of the kneecap, as well as the distance from the kneecap to the toes. The axis of the femur and the axis of the lower leg do not lie on the same line. As you can see, there is an angle between them. The length of the breastbone is equal to the length of the collarbone. The eye sockets are located in the middle of the head. Avoid the amateur's mistake of placing them too high. The lower edge of the cheekbone and the root of the nose lie on the same line, which is a third of the way from the lower edge of the skull. 